In this video, I'm going to show you what it is to do a fit on a metal picture frame. A fit, once again, is where we assemble the whole thing together. Put your artwork, the foam core, the acrylic, or the glass, everything inside of it. So here we go. This is what you probably got when you ordered from us, if you got everything, essentially. You got your piece of acrylic, which has the protective coating on either side of it. You got probably a backing board. This one is a piece of foam core. And you got this kit that has all the, all the hardware and the... Uh, wire to attach to the frame and put the frame together to be able to assemble it. Well, I have it all broken apart over here in this little pile, so I'm going to use that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to peel the acrylic and get it ready to go with my art. So basically, on something this small, I'm just going to peel it, and uh, if I had a glove, I might put it on there to where I don't touch that. But basically, I'm just going to pull this protective coating off. If you want, you can always roll off the material. Um, I've showed in other videos where you take a roll and you get it started and then you roll it off. But um, So what I would do here is I don't have any artwork today, but I would assume that this is my piece of artwork and I would lay this piece down that I just had. So I would sandwich my artwork inside of there and then I would peel this other side. and then put the backing behind it. So basically my art, if you can use your imagination, is sandwiched inside of there, and I have my art in here, and it's underneath my acrylic, and I've dug out any debris that I don't want to have in there. With a, I like to use a paintbrush, um, and just a tiny little paintbrush, and kind of scrape things out and lift it and get them out. And anyway, I get it all clean and ready to go. And then I kind of slide that aside. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the long rails and I'm going to place it directly in front of me. And I'm going to take a short rail and I'm going to put it to the right of me. These pieces of hardware is, this is a tapped corner that has screws in it and this one is a, is a, bla is a back. So I sandwich those two things together. Then I insert them into the groove in the back of the metal picture frame. Then I take the other piece of the picture frame and I put that into the groove. Now what I like to do is I actually like to place my hand and elbow on the table. It gives me some, something to rest on. And I use my hand as a vice grip over this joint, which I know I'm blocking you slightly, but use your imagination that I'm squeezing basically on the outside of this frame. I like to kind of hit it with my screwdriver, assuming it's plastic and not metal, so I'm going to hurt it. And it kind of just lines it up a little bit. Then I lean over it, and I'm just going to bring these up snug. I'm not going to bring them tight, just snug. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at my joint, and I'm going to see if I have a joint that I like. And if I don't, I'm going to loose, loosen one of these just ever so slightly, and I'm going to shimmy it around there a little bit until I really get that joint nice and close. And I'm squeezing now pretty dang tight. I'm going to tighten that one up. Now I'm going to go tighter with that one, and then I'm going to go tighter with this one. Then I'm going to check it again. Yep, I got a really nice tight joint. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my small one and I'm going to make a U. So basically I have my long in front of me and I've made a U. And I'm going to insert my hardware again. So the back plate goes behind and insert that in there. Every once in a while these are a little bit too tight and they don't fit in there. You have to back them off just a little bit to get them started. I'm going to do that same thing. Lean on the table, kind of tap it together, bring it up snug. Bring it up snug, check it out, and go for it. Once I have it nice and where I like it, then I'm going to tighten them down, get them good and snug and tight. Now, especially on large pieces, um, this is easier to do with two people. But basically what I do is I lean this out over the table, and I slide my picture frame on. And I realize that I may be off the table for my video, so I'm just going to pull this in and show you what's really happening. But I basically just get that in there and I slide those two things together. And like I said, if you have a great big piece, that's much easier to do sometimes with two people. But I basically slide that into the U channel and flip it over. And then I take my, other, my last long piece and at this time I have to put the hardware into the corners at the same time to finish it off. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. So anyway, so then you kind of have to get these both started in here, which typically isn't too difficult to do. Get them both in the groove. This one's just a little too tight, so I'm going to back that off a little bit. Slide it in there. Make sure you're up over the lip of the glass and your foam and everything. And it's okay that this is loose in here. That, there's there's going to be a product for that. So once again, I do the same thing. Kind of get it tapped. See where I'm at. Snug. And on this one, what I actually like to do is I do them both at the same time on this last corner, or the last two corners. 
and I'm squeezing with these fingers. I'm really clamping pretty dang hard in here to hold that where I want and keep that thing locked in where I like it. And I'm watching right along this back edge to see that I get that nice and straight and I got a good joint right there. We work real hard in cutting our frames to get you good joints. We concentrate on that a lot. So anyway, tighten that one up good. Go back to this one, make sure I'm good and snug. Looks good. And I am pretty much all set. Now this is kind of loose in here. Well, that's what these things are. These are called spring clips. Basically they have tension. And so they're made to where you can go really flat with them or you can have them wide open to take up a lot of space. So basically on something of this size, I would only put in four of these. I like to tuck it in under the edge and then just kind of slide it up underneath there. So sometimes you get to where you have almost no, uh, you know, you have almost no room inside of this area here, inside of this rabbit, to even allow these to go in. And if that happens, sometimes you don't insert anything at all. Other times you might just take like a little tiny piece of cardboard or mat board or something to take up that space. And you would just put it in there and, and not even have these. So this one doesn't want to go in very good. So I don't know what it did, but I'm going to put that in there again. And sometimes I'll just take my screwdriver. There's a little notch in them. And you can kind of just push it in there a little bit. And you're all set. So now that thing just doesn't wiggle at all. Very, very tight. So I would find my up. That's my up because that's my mountain top, as you can see. See, mountain top. Top of the painting, flip it over, have the top towards me. Now I'm going to use these last pieces, which are basically hangers. So they fit down in the channel here, and sometimes they're too tight once again, so I just back that off just a little bit so I can kind of wiggle that thing down in there. There it goes. Tighten that screw back up just a little bit. The same thing on this side. That one slips right in. So once again on this, you always want to go about a third of the way down. I typically just eyeball it and I use like a screwdriver or whatever I have and so I kind of say about right there. If you need to measure, you can measure that overall distance, divide it by three and get your third down. I'm going to go kind of when I have the top of the screwdriver here and I'm going to go right to the middle of that blue tape and I tighten this thing up. Tighten, get it good and tight. Do the same thing over here. And now I'm going to put my wire in. So my wire is, you're about to see on your screen a note on a knot that I'm about to use. So study that knot while I get this first one done here. And you can pause the video at this point and get that knot down while I do this part and tighten this first knot up. And then you'll be back with me in a second where I'll show you what I've done. So, I have created that knot now, as you can see. So now I just wind this around here just a little bit. About, I like to go about four times, nice and tight, right up against that other wire and snip that off of there. So now what I do is I never hang anything with one, high, with one hook like this. There's a couple of reasons there. One, it makes things get off kilter more on your wall so you don't, so it gets uneven. And it also makes it towards just even that much easier to get knocked off the wall. I'm going to hang it with two hangers. So what I do is I pull up at about a 45 degree angle off of this and I push down and pinch it against the backing board. Then I pull over with my other hand and I pinch it with my thumb as to where I'll be making this about my 45 degree. Bring my other finger over and I pull this down where pretty dang close to where I'm going to be and I put a bend in it. Cut off the excess wire and do this knot again. So this time I'm going to kind of show you what you're doing. So here I go through the bottom, back around through the inside, and up through the hole that I made. Pull it with my needle nose pliers, and then I usually, so after I've pulled on that pretty dang tight and got the, the tension out of that, then I pull up here and I kind of tighten those knots down to go in the other direction. You can see if I put two, two hooks in the wall, what is this, about five inches apart, and you can measure that of course and get it exact, then you would know if those are level, you're going to get to hang on two nails or two hooks. That's what you do. So tighten this one around here, around the edge of that wire about four or five times. And snip it off. And the last piece 
is some bumpers. You get white ones sometimes inside of these hardware packs. There's little white ones that come in there. The other ones we send you are our, uh, bump, our felt bumper that's brown. You put those right over. I usually put it just over the edge of that top lip of the metal there in that way. Um, and those are basically on there just so that it uh, protects your wall from scuffing it. And you are all set. So there is your assembled metal picture frame with your bumpers on, ready to hang on the wall, ready to go.